Hello, I am Kim Miller from Women at the Well Ministries, and thank you for choosing to spend the next few moments with me studying God's Word. We're going to read out of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 3 today, and it's a small verse packed full of meaning. It goes like this, In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Our angel gram today is entitled, Going on a Treasure Hunt. Who among us does not like the adventure of finding treasure? We all like adventures and we all love treasure hunting. And there are many different forms of treasure hunting, but there is no greater treasure hunt than the treasure hunt of opening up his word and just leafing through it and beginning to see what God has for us and figuring out where we want to land to spend a lot of time and effort and real concentration and focus and hearing what that passage or that particular book has to say to us. That is the greatest treasure ever. This is the greatest love letter ever written. And it's also the greatest treasure chest because every time you read it, you are going to be filled with something new and valuable and the gems that you are able to mine from this book, God's Holy Word, the Bible, are eternal and never lose value. You can't say that about anything else. It is certain that the gems you dig out from this Holy Word will never lose their value. Our angel gram opens up like this. Hello, put on your hunting boots for Bible hunting. Today, you are going to uncover the greatest treasures on earth. You will discover the truths of Jesus that lead to wisdom and knowledge. So hustle, my friend. Treasures are waiting. Happy digging. Colossians 2, verse 3. There we go. And whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It is no mystery where true wisdom can be found. It is found in Christ Jesus. It is no secret where the source of knowledge is located. It is in the person of Jesus Christ. There is much comfort in knowing these facts. Because if wisdom and knowledge are the treasures found in your Savior, then you know that you can have them. All you have to do is ask. Jesus told you he was no respecter of persons in Acts chapter 10 and verse 34. He came for the rich and the poor alike. He created all people with the intent to bless them abundantly while they serve him. He made it clear that you have not because you ask not in James chapter 4 and verse 2. If you truly want to be wealthy and possess much wisdom and knowledge, dig into your Bible and get to know the person of Jesus Christ. In doing so, he will share his wealth with you. Our angel to angel chat. Many people spend a lot of time seeking worldly knowledge and searching for wisdom. These are there for the taking if only you seek in the right place. Both of these invaluable treasures are found in the person of Jesus Christ. Spend much time with him and you will never be the same. He will give you wisdom and knowledge as you study his word and commune with him. You cannot invest your time more wisely. This investment pays for eternity. Remember God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought there is much treasure buried in the pages of your Bible. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for your, your holy word. I want to thank you for all that it says and the fact that it's dynamic and it's ever living, Lord, and that whatever my need is, I can find the answer there. Lord, I thank you that you loved me enough to, to write the word that I might know and that I might believe and Lord, I just pray that you would help each and every one of us to seek your wisdom. Lord, to seek knowledge of you. To realize that that's true knowledge and that's true wisdom. And only when we possess knowledge of you and a personal relationship with you can we truly be wise. Lord, I thank you that 
That's a gift that keeps on giving, not just to ourselves, but to others. As we begin to learn more about you and we begin to love you even more, Lord, you fill us even more and you bless us even more. And we're able, Lord, to spread that wealth of knowledge and that wealth of your blessings to others. And I just ask you, Lord, to give us a thirst and a hunger for you. A thirst and a hunger like we've never had before, Lord. I pray that you would make it unquenchable, that we just need to be in your scriptures and nothing else will satisfy us. Lord, teach us your ways. Give us that desire and help us, Lord, to find ourselves on our knees in front of you in prayer. And our faces, Lord, digging in to the incredible treasure that you've given us, your word. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, amen.